Hello everyone, my name is Val. I work for the Information Lab and I build a lot of business dashboards. And today I'm going to show you what to do if all your stakeholder ever asks for is tables, but you really want to give them something a little bit better than that. All right, so let's imagine I've been asked to build a simple table showing quarterly sales by subcategory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my subcategory onto the rows and then I'm going to drop order date onto the columns and I'll expand that to the quarterly level and probably just keep 2024. Then I'm going to find my sales and put that onto the text. And there you go. I've got my table, all the numbers are there, it's exactly what the client uh, or the stakeholder has asked for. Uh, but personally, I think this table looks a little bit sad. In this most basic tabular view, it actually becomes quite difficult to see where the highest numbers are, where there are gaps, are there any specific subcategories that consistently perform better than the others. And so what I like to do in these scenarios is add a little faint bar into each of those cells just to make the magnitudes of those numbers a little bit more apparent. And to achieve that, I'm first going to move my sum of cells to columns. That gives me a bunch of bars. So I'm just going to shrink that a little bit. And what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to turn the labels on because frankly, I think this becomes even more confusing to interpret. But uh, I'm going to keep my bars naked and I'm going to just go ahead and change the color of those to be a bit more turn down. Next, I'm going to double click on the columns and type in average of one. And all it will do is it will create a bunch of equally sized bars in each of the columns that I have in the view. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to control click and move the sum of sales onto the text, onto the label for that second card. And while I'm here, I'm also going to change the color to white and completely transparent. And I'm also going to make it a Gantt. Now, when I have that, I can dual access the two pills. And Tableau will decide to make the first one a circle. So I'm going to go back and force it to be a bar again. And then I'm just going to return to all marks card and remove measure names from color. All right, so this is already pretty close to where we want to be. Uh, and this is actually one of the few scenarios where we don't want to synchronize dual axis. But what we do want to do is we actually want to make sure that all of those numbers align to the right of the column rather than being on the left. So the easiest way to do that is to edit the average of one axis and to make sure its range is fixed from zero to one. All right, so what this does, it just ensures that the label cannot extend past the mark and our mark is at one because that's where we put it. So it's forced to stay to the right of the column. And all that's left now is just a little bit of formatting. We can get rid of the headers. We can edit, we can format the grid lines. Just get rid of those. I personally like switching on row dividers. I'll make them pretty light. And I'll do the same for column dividers. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make sure my headers are aligned to the left and just maybe give those rows a little bit more space. All right, so there you go. Uh, we still have a table, uh, we've hit the brief, uh, but we've taken it just that one baby step further to help our business users to believe in the power of data visualization. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this useful, feel free to subscribe to our newsletter. We'll drop the link in the description and stay tuned for more useful tablet content.